Uh, the Grizzlies beat Delaware to move on to the quarterfinal round of the FCS playoffs. Uh, Coach, we'll start with you. Uh, you your, your first thoughts after uh, another dominant win for the Grizz. Thanks, Eric. Uh, we're excited to, to win and advance in the playoffs. Obviously, it's great to get that win. Um, I would say congratulations to Coach Cardi and Delaware. They have a, you know, have a really tough football team. That was a hard-fought game. They, they competed uh, the whole game. And uh, you know they're a veteran football team, and it's a it was a privilege to have a chance to beat them. So uh, we're excited about that. Um, thought it was a good effort by our guys. We came out and after the you know we had the turnover on the second play, but after that you know, we kind of we kind of knuckled down, got after it, got a stop on defense, and then you know did some did some good things, blocking the punt. That kind of really got us going, I think, with the block punt. And then it was uh, it was pretty fast and furious there. So it, was, it was a nice job by our guys. I, I think the <clears throat> elements are a bit of a struggle for us with our style of play, the type of player we have on our team. Um, and I was proud of our guys for fighting through it. So good by our guys. We're excited to get the win, and we'll be real excited for next week against Furman here on either Friday night or Saturday. I uh, hope it's Saturday. And I uh, hope it's Saturday afternoon. Anyway, uh, let's go get them. Questions? Cliff, for you, had, had you ever played in a game with any snow before, or snow like that? And just how would you describe what that experience is like when the snow is just swirling around and fans are going crazy at the start of the game? That was my first snow game. It was a fun experience. Just, um, I mean, it was kind of hard seeing out there with all the snow and the snowfall was like very thick. So it was a fun experience. Yeah, after after that first pick, it seemed like you settled in on offense. What what started working for you? I mean, were you just seeing things better? Yeah, I mean, just uh, relying on my guys, keeping my head up, allowing me not to just fall into uh, throw a pick on the second play. Just Shout out to my guys, just keeping me going and keeping my confidence up. And Jackson, could you walk through the play where you picked up the fumble and ran it back for a touchdown? And just how did it, how how would you describe the feeling of what it was like to score in a playoff game here? I mean, yeah, that uh, play was really cool, really special. Um, thanks to Fouch and some of the boys for popping the ball out, getting it on the ground, and just right place, right time, and it um, was a very cool experience. Something to dream for. And Bobby, the block punt you guys got early on seemed like that was big and flipping the momentum. What did what did you see as to how you guys were able to block that and how big did that seem to you in the moment when you guys score a touchdown one play later on offense? Well, it was certainly big in the game to get the block punt and score. Um, Sawyer made a, a nice play. He came off the edge and, and uh, got there. Connor was going away from it. I actually think Jackson did a nice job of getting it the punter pulled up so he couldn't take it totally away from Sawyer, who was loose off the edge. I mean, that's the protection. So, uh, good play, but just good play by those guys. Clifton, can you talk a little bit about? I thought one of the cooler plays today was um, the check down to Evan Schaefer. Um, take me through the progression, maybe, and how the play unfolded for you. Well, um, so it was like a dual read, uh, man side and zone side. I chose the wrong side, but ended up working out for a touchdown. But uh, that was a big shout out to Evan, just staying with me and working with me to get open. Bobby, you mentioned the elements obviously were a factor here and maybe a little bit difficult for you guys, but the offense was pretty balanced, I guess. What'd you like from them? You know, it's kind of hard to throw in the snow sometimes, but it seems like you guys were able to find uh, strengths in both running and passing. Yeah, you know, our guy from the south uh, did a pretty good job handling the snow, and he's handled the Cliff's handled the elements well. Our guy hasn't played in it a bunch, but we, you know, we practice in it. Um, you know, balance is what we want. Uh, you know, our our offensive line is pretty athletic. They're not uh, road grader type athletes. They're, more long and, and athletic.
quick. And uh, the, when the footing's bad, they can struggle a little bit. Uh, I thought we did at times, but you know, our guys overcame it. Stuff that fought their tails off and did a good job getting the win. Defensively, you guys, after the first turnover, you guys had the three and out against them. It seems like defense kind of was doing their things. What did you like from those guys, and what stood out about the defense today, today from your perspective? Well, the first half, we gave up the 50-yard run. That was a little disappointing. But beyond that, our rush defense was was awesome. I think that they covered with two yards of carry besides that one. You know, where the math will tell you. Um, so, you know, our run defense was good. Really, our pass defense was pretty good. The, the ball was hanging up there a little bit at times, and uh, we got outcompeted for the ball. Uh, that'll happen a little bit. Uh, but defensively, we, we played hard. We were pretty sound. Jackson, just defensively, what's it like playing in the elements like this? Like, what challenges come with you know playing in the snow from the defense's perspective? Because it seems like you guys were locked in early, but did you guys have to kind of battle through anything there? I mean, yeah, it's, it's always hard to play in elements um, kind of like this. I mean, it's hard for the D-line to get off the ball fast, and uh, it's hard to get out of your breaks in the in the secondary. So, I mean, the snow pres definitely presents a challenge. Um, but I think our guys did pretty well at it today and uh, handled the elements well. Jackson, I thought the, the big thing on defense, especially in the first half, you guys had them 0 for 8 on third and fourth downs at one point in the first half, and I thought that was huge for the game. Um, does anything change for you guys in those situations? Because they were moving it okay, and then they just couldn't get anything on third or fourth down. Um, no, not necessarily. That's kind of what we hope to do. Um, it's a goal of ours is to have a, get them off the field on third downs, and I think that's a goal for almost all defenses. And uh, when you're getting it done like it was happening tonight, um, Good things come with that, I guess. And then, Coach, you, you touched on this, I think, a little bit, but just how important is it after you make the play on special teams or you make a play on defense, you get the ball back to go and, and capitalize on that right away? I mean, right after the pump block, you score it on the first play. Just just how big is that, and how much do you, do you want to do that after you, you take the momentum with a play like that? Well, you always want to score. It doesn't really matter where you get it, but when you create field position and, and a favorable starting point you know you've already done the work to get down in the red zone with with whatever that play might have been in that case it was a block punt or interception or whatever you, you know you want to stick it in there you want to be good in that area of the field we've been pretty good in the red area I mean, coach if you just touch on uh, the run game for you guys today over 200 yards and seemed pretty balanced there as well nick was had a long touchdown run. What'd you like from your guys in the in the run game today? Because you talked about the old line as well. I thought our guys ran hard. Um, you know, there were certain things that we did better than others. Um, There's some of the zone stuff we ran better. Some of the gap plays I didn't think we executed as well as uh, as we would have wanted to. But uh, you know, we didn't have the again field conditions. We didn't have the perimeter stuff that we kind of were counting on. So we had to reinvent the wheel to a degree, and, and I thought our guys did a nice job adapting to that. For both the players and Cliff, we can start with you. Just obviously, you guys coming off the bye, kind of getting back into the rhythm after the week off. To get a win like this, just how big is it to kind of kick, talks, kick start the playoffs like this and just get back on a roll after getting the week off? Uh, it gives, I feel like it gives us a, a huge momentum uh, going into next week, game versus Furman, and just keep stacking off the, this win right here. Uh, yeah, just basically uh, reiterate what uh, Cliff said. I mean, it's big for momentum, and uh, uh, I mean, all these teams that you're playing now are good teams, so that's huge. Jackson, you guys haven't started, you know, every game right out of the gates. You had the turnover today. You gave up a touchdown early to sack, but you guys always have responded. What What does it say about this team when you guys can maybe make a mistake or get punched early to always respond? Um, I think it's important as a defensive guy or just a football player in general to wipe away mistakes, um, have short-term memory, and uh, you can't get down on yourself, and you just got to keep playing football. There's a whole lot of football to play left. Coach, it's been a you know a long stretch where you guys have been coming out you know very prepared and, and not having any letdown performances. What does that say about your team to be able to put a long stretch like that together? I think it starts with the fact that our team's willing to put in the work um, week in, week out. And 
if guys are ever uh, mature about the focus and, and their uh, their want to uh, execute in the scheme and play for their teammates. These guys showing up on Friday. Anybody else? Thanks, everyone. Thanks, you guys.